Alright, welcome everybody to the second tutorial of my channel. This one's going to be specifically for PlayStation 3 emulator called RPCS3. Uh, again, in my opinion, I only make tutorial videos about things I actually use and actually good programs. So, what I'm going to show you guys here is RPCS3. You're going to want to go to, as always, every link will be in the description rpcs3.net hit the download tab or just hit download on the main screen download and it'll download it right here <clears throat> when you're done go ahead and find that and what I like to do is double click open it up you're either gonna need WinRAR like I always say or 7-zip either one works what you're gonna want to do is before you do anything on your desktop you're gonna want to create a folder and just name it rpcs3 Go ahead and leave that wherever your heart desires. You don't have to make it on your desktop. I'm just going to to make things a little easier. What I do is I go ahead and click the top folder. Extract to IRPCS3 folder. So now when you guys are done with that, <coughs> it'll easily, I'm not going to because I already have it, but it'll be right here in this folder. So all you really have to do is go ahead and double click the game you will find it as simply RPCS3. You can create your guy, yourself a shortcut. Um, but this is really all it is. It's a, it's a very quick and easy download as really every other emulator involves is mapping buttons and playing with config files. What mine did not show what you guys are going to have to do is you're going to have to download <coughs> the PS3 firmware. And I'm going to leave this link in the description as well. But it's very easy to find. This is this is actually Sony's PlayStation website, so don't be scared. But you're gonna want to download the PS3. It's gonna be PS3 Update.pup, and I know it looks weird, but let it download. There it is. And what you're gonna do from our PCS3, you're gonna have an initial prompt that says a quick start guide. Just hit don't show again and all that good stuff. You're gonna hit file install firmware and you're gonna find that file it's gonna be in your downloads you're gonna double click it'll go through the process and now you are ready to add and play games it's that simple there's not much else to it um, you guys can go to uh, you know your actual <coughs> game input device whether that be a mouse and keyboard a DualShock controller or obviously an Xbox controller which is gonna be labeled X input. Um, my device is disconnected, so it's not going to show. But you're going to want to go through and map every button accordingly. This is important. People forget to do this and wonder why their controls are not working. So just go through, map every button, click save, and then you're good there. The only other really thing I would recommend is actually uh, turning down your volume because it tends to be very loud. Um, I don't know why but it, it just is. Uh, make sure your GPU settings are set to Vulkan for the back-end renderer. Uh, you can use OpenGL, it does work, but Vulkan tends to actually use your graphics card. Keep your aspect ratio at 16 by 9 if you're using a normal, you know, modern day um, monitor. Pretty much simple here. Nothing to really touch. Um, you can enable VSync if you want. It's not really going to make a difference. Most games don't even run at 120. Um, I actually don't think they'll ever run over 60, but I could be wrong on that. So don't take me at my word for that one. Uh, as you guys can see, there's a lot of you know options here. There really isn't anything to worry about besides, like I said, making sure GPU is correct and making sure audio is a little a little down. Totally up to you. And um, and dealing with the controller as well. So, this is hands down the best PlayStation 3 emulator. It is not flawless, guys. Any emulator that is made is not flawless, but RPCS3 is incredible at doing updates. If you actually caught in the beginning when I opened my RPCS3 software, it actually told me there was an update available. So, I would suggest always going with the updates. Staying up to date is always a good idea, no matter what program, software, device, firmware. It's always a good idea. So, if there's really any other questions, this is going to be probably the quickest and easiest tutorial for anyone to set up. Uh, I think that's probably why it's 
one of the most popular as well. But uh, if you ever get this ops remove obsolete settings, you can click yes. It just removes old settings that are from old versions that you, ha you might still have on. <clears throat> but, you know, the software devs have clearly seen that you don't need it. So, I will, as always, leave some links in the description to make finding some games a little easier for you. But I cannot tell you what, where, or how to download anything. So, everything will be in the link in the uh, description down below for all the links needed really only two needed and then i will leave an extra to help you guys out with games but until next time if you guys want any other updates i'm sorry any other videos uh regarding emulators tech tips uh steam deck computer tech tips please leave a comment and until next time see you